Kia ora friends, Happy New Year, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video I'm going to be continuing on with the duck cottage build and finishing off the kitchen area. So I'm really excited to bring this one to you. I've had a fantastic break feeling completely re-energized so without further ado let's get into it. So to begin with we're going to start with just putting together the kitchen table. This is going to be really super quick and easy. It is a, another kit from, I think it's from Petite Properties. I have got a number of kits from different suppliers. This was sort of more of a sort of a chef's kitchen table. So once it's all to get put together I'm just going to set that aside to dry. Once it's all dry I'm just going to give it a really light coat of a watered down brown paint and you know basically water and brown paint just to kind of give it a, almost like a stain effect. Moving on to the stove and the fridge what I've done here is I've actually 3D printed the fridge and I have also 3D printed the stove. So to hide some of the print lines I'm experimenting with using nail polish and I'm just going to do a couple of coats of nail polish on both the stove as well as the fridge and this seemed to work reasonably well. The nail polish does tend to uh, doesn't really sort of fill in that much but it it works okay and then I'm wanting to create a real aged look on both of these appliances so I'm just grabbing a bit of white paint and I'm just stippling on the paint in the main parts of the stove and leaving the bits around the outside of the doors and um, other areas to give it the look of that it's been worn and especially on the edges of anything where it would have been kind of worn so I'm doing the same on the fridge as well so just stippling that over and just then putting that aside to dry the paint actually sticks reasonably well to the nail polish which is great and then uh, with a little bit of black paint I'm just coming in to add in a few more of the details on the hinges, the handles and then on the knobs on the stove and then on the, um, the very top parts of the stove as well, the stove rings. So just putting a bit of black paint on those. And then just with a little bit of dirty down rust effect I'm just going around some of the areas where rust may have formed and just going over that just really lightly. Well actually I thought it was lightly but now looking at it it's actually quite heavy handed but anyway it still works out quite well. And then just mixing up a little bit of sort of black paint with a little bit of silver I'm just going to dab over just to kind of knock back some of that rust effect and to kind of add in a little bit more details and then I thought the white was just a little bit too light and sort of knocked back a bit so I'm just going to go over that again just to bring back the highlight of the white both on the stove and then also onto the fridge as well. So then once that's all done I can move on to creating the sink. So with the sink I'm going to use a oven roasting pan and I've got an inspiration picture here that I wanted to try and recreate or you know as, as close to it as I could. I was really wanting a sort of a country uh, tub, vintage tub type of sink rather than a sort of a standard kitchen sink so I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm going to use UV resin um, to act as glue for all of the all of this metal part and that seems to work really well. For the legs I'm just going to cut that out of one piece of metal and then I'm just going to bend the legs round and then shape the metal into what I'm looking for and then once I'm happy with that I can glue the two parts together. The actual metal itself is really quite shiny so I'm wanting to try and knock that a bit back a bit so I'm just grabbing a bit of silver and just dabbing that on with a sponge to give it a quite a textured look so it looks like it's um, sort of worn 
galvanized steel and then again I'm going to come in with the dirty down rust and put some rust effects on it as well just again to try and blend it in with the sink uh, sorry blend it in with the fridge and the stove um, for the taps uh, because this is such a small scale I'm just going to use some wire and then again I'm using that UV resin as my glue and that seems to work quite well I'm just going to use some sort of levered handled or the actual taps so levered handled taps and then I'm just going to put a bit of uh, nail polish over the top just to fatten them up a little bit and then I'll come back and paint them in black just to kind of add that detail in it's going to sit right in the back of the project so you're not really going to see too much detail but I do want to put in a trap so I'm just using a slightly thicker gauged wire to bend that around and then I'm just going to cut that down to the right length and then using some really fine strips of paper I'm just going to wrap that around to give it the look of plumbing and then once I'm happy with that again using the UV resin and I'm just going to glue that into place once that's all set then I'm going to come back and give it a paint with some silver especially around those paper parts and that's the sink all finished So moving on to some pots and pans, uh, at the last show I was at I managed to pick up these little aluminium cast pots and pans at the right scale. So they just needed a little bit of clean up, they had some pieces on the bottom and then some mould lines as well. So I'm just going to stick them to a bit of paper and then give them a prime and once that's all primed and ready to go I'm just going to go through and paint them. So the lanterns just get a bit of white in the middle for the glass and then I'm just going to go through and paint the kettle up in black. I'm going to add some black to the bottom of the pots as if they've been sitting on the stove and have got some scorch marks and then the pots and pans themselves I'm going to paint silver. For the jug, this is a um, sort of a coffee pot and I've got a teapot there as well and I'm going to actually paint them in green so I'm just going to do that and then I'm also going to paint the lanterns in green as well. And then once I'm happy with that I'm just going to come back in with a sponge and a little bit of silver just to kind of give it a little bit more of an aged effect and then once I've done the silver and I'm happy with that I kind of come in with a mix of silver and black just to kind of stipple on some just some wear and tear onto the pieces. Then once that's all done and I'm happy with the paint of them I'm going to glue a pot and, a, and the kettle to the top of the stove. And then in the sink I'm going to add one of the little frying pans and just with a bit more UV resin and I've got some tiny little plates as well so I'm just going to pop them into the sink and make it look like we've got dirty dishes. This particular project is going to go into the show in October so I'm really keen to get that finished. Happy New Year everybody, I can't believe we're already in January. I've had a, an amazing break, I feel refreshed and rearing to go. So that's it for this video, I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, you know the drill, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think of the paint job on the stove and the fridge. That was a little bit of an experiment for me. And until next time, I will catch you then. Bye for now.